What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. In today's video, we're going to learn 10 mind idioms. Are you ready to broaden your vocabulary? So take a notebook and let's kick off. The first idiom we're going to learn today is to slip your mind. To slip means to slide accidentally and lose your balance. In castellano, resbalarse. So if something slips your mind, it means that you forget it. And it's usually something you have to do. In castellano, olvidarse. And now let's look at two examples with this idiom. The first one. Sorry, I didn't reply to your email yesterday. It completely slipped my mind. Another example. I meant to call you back yesterday, but it totally slipped my mind. Let's move on to our idiom number two, which is your mind goes blank or your mind is a blank. It means that you are unable to remember something or answer a question. It's likely to happen when you're nervous because you have maybe an important job interview or an exam or something like that. In Spanish is quedarse en blanco. And now let's look at two examples. The first example, she gets very nervous during exams. Her mind goes totally blank. One more example, I tried to remember my password, but my mind was a complete blank. Now let's continue with our idiom number three, which is to give somebody a piece of your mind. It means to tell somebody why you're angry with that person. In this way, you express your feelings, such as anger or frustration. In castellano sería decir lo que piensas, or if you say I'll give you a piece of my mind, it could be te vas a enterar. And now two examples. The first one, I felt much better after giving him a piece of my mind. And the second example, you did the right thing by giving her a piece of your mind. Her attitude was unbearable. Idiom number four, to cross your mind. Level B2. If something crosses your mind, it means that you suddenly think of it. It can be also negative. If you say it never crossed my mind, it means that you didn't think of it. In castellano, pasarse por la cabeza. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, it crossed my mind that it's my friend's birthday tomorrow and I haven't got her a present yet. And the second example, it never crossed my mind that he would let me down. Let's continue our idiom number five, to bear or to keep something in mind. Also level B2, and it means to remember something important or useful. In castellano, tener algo en mente o en cuenta. And now two examples. The first one, I'll bear your advice in mind. And the second example, keep in mind that the registration deadline is next Friday. Let's move on to our idiom number six, which is to be into minds about something, which is British, or to be of two minds about something, American. It's level C1 and it means to have difficulty in making a decision. In castellano, dudar o estar indeciso. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, Tom is in two minds about accepting the job. And the second example about me, I'm of two minds about whether to run a marathon again. Our idiom number seven, to set or to put somebody's mind at rest or at ease. It's also level C1 and it means to stop somebody from worrying about something. In castellano, tranquilizar. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, going to the doctor will set your mind at rest. And the second example, I love talking to my mom because she always knows how to put my mind at ease. And now let's learn some C2 idioms. The first one is to speak your mind. It means to say what you think in a very direct way, even if it may offend or upset people. In castellano, hablar claro o ser sincero. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Jane has a strong personality and is not afraid of speaking her mind. 
And another example, I always prefer to speak my mind rather than keep it to myself. Second to last idiom to mind your own business. It's informal and it means to tell somebody in a rude way that you don't want them to ask about something private. En castellano, no meterse donde no te llaman. And now, two examples. The first one, she's so nosy. I wish she would mind her own business. And another example, imagine that somebody asks you, when are you going to get married and have children? And you could answer, mind your own business or why don't you mind your own business? And last but not least, the idiom to have something on your mind. It means to be worried about something and to be thinking a lot about a problem. En castellano, estar preocupado por algo. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Elsa hasn't been sleeping well lately because she has a lot on her mind. And the second example, you look worried. Do you have something on your mind? That's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed these idioms. If you feel like, write one example sentence with your favorite mind idiom in the comments below. It means a lot to me if you could give this English bit a thumbs up and if you could share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to connect with me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!